Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey guys, for uh, anybody who normally watches my channel, this is gonna be a little bit different video. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time and you like to watch crappie fishing, check the channel out. Uh, that's what we do mainly is crappie fish, but today we're gonna be talking about um, a golf cart, how to change from a from six, six volt batteries on a 36 volt uh, golf cart to three marine type batteries uh, that are 12 volts a piece. It works, I wanted to save some money. I wanna say those batteries were somewhere in the uh, $150 range a piece, and I would have to buy six of them, that's for the six volts. Uh, so what I did was I changed over to three marine type deep cycle batteries, got them for 104 bucks a piece. So I spent roughly 310, 315 bucks with tax, um, or 20 bucks with tax, something like that and uh, save myself quite a bit of money. Plus I saved weight in the uh, golf cart. So guys, y'all stay tuned. I'll show you how I did it and I'll show you the results. All right, guys, so this is my golf cart. Um, I use this at church, and uh, it's my personal golf cart, but I do use this out, out here, and I, that's why I'm in the church building with the other golf carts in the maintenance barn. But I wanna show you what I did. So, walk over here. These are the original batteries that I took out. I did this about, about a month ago, and I've been wanting to test it just to make sure it works before I put this out, but these are my original batteries they were going bad i uh, couldn't get but about two hours of driving on this thing um, not even consistent driving just two hours of use in general even sitting around um, so i went ahead and changed the batteries um, these batteries are a little different if you've ever seen a golf cart sorry let me get back in picture if you've ever seen a golf cart um, a normal battery is going to be about that tall but it's also going to be about that much longer so there's a taller they're quite honestly they're heavier these are only six volt batteries. So it took six six volt batteries to equal 36 volts. So what I did, come over here. Let me get on this side for the light. What I did was I changed this to three deep cycle 12 volt batteries. Now, because everything's uh, set in here, there is a, a spot, it's, the, it's made exactly for those batteries back there but i had to do a little reconfiguring um, so it is sitting on the initial rail down here and uh, then it's sitting on top of a rail so what i did was i just put this tie down strap on there to keep it together now these zoom in here these right here were one piece that went right in between and kept all the batteries down what i did was i dremeled it out cut it right there and i cut the piece out here and the piece out here to fit right in here these tied down keeps the batteries down that way and then this strap keeps them this way so what we did we, we just series it so this is my initial wire coming in from the motor and then went negative to positive negative to positive i don't have the right color leads on that that's my fault i will probably change it out later but i know what happens i know what it is so i'm not worried about it too much and then right here let's see so uh positive negative to positive negative to positive and then negative comes back out here this is one thing i do have to fix this is my negative wire here we go this is my negative wire for the motor so i just ran one big lead and all i had was a positive lead but um ran that over here and so now i've got 36 volts very simple to do when you look at my voltage meter now it's been charging. Let's see if I can get closer in this. Um, it's showing me I got 37.9 volts in here. The thing is charged. Uh, been charging. I, I would use this thing for a couple weeks without having to do anything to it at all. Um, makes it very simple. So guys, this is my original charger that came with the golf cart. 
a 36 volt charger and I plug it in right there like normal nothing has changed on my charging everything is the same uh, it charges I was worried about it charging and continually going with that different battery type but everything is perfect on this thing so guys these are the original cables that I had um, I did have to buy new cables uh, just for the simple fact that these were not long enough to series uh, regular size batteries but I only had to buy three of them it works well so three batteries three cables and I was in the business so this system has worked really good for um, what I wanted to do I've used this thing I did it originally about a month ago I did this whole conversion, but I did not want to put anything out until I, uh, I knew that it worked. Um, there were a couple concerns I had. Charging, was charging going to actually work? Was it going to cut off? So I wanted to make sure I was there when I did charge it and, uh, and got to watch when it got to a full charge. Um, and it did. It stopped just like normal, so nothing has changed. So like I said, I used this about four weeks ago. Um, I do continually driving on Sunday morning or continual driving from about 7 to 12 o'clock. Um, and I did this originally, charged it up, uh, it, not even a full charge. I got a pretty full charge on it originally, and then I've used it for four weeks now. Uh, Sunday morning, I did run out of juice, and I'm talking, I got a big old uh, parking garage that I go up and down several times, so it's probably made about 16 trips up that thing and uh plus i probably i don't know how many miles i'll put on this thing because our campus is pretty huge um and so it just the fact that it went almost four weeks without needing a charge was amazing um i couldn't do on the last battery i couldn't do half the day i had to come back and charge for you know 20 minutes and go back out um, but this thing is uh, you know what i recommend if you are looking at uh, if you're having some battery issues if you're looking at replacing the batteries on your golf cart try this system out so i got these at o'reilly's they were 104 dollars a piece they're deep cycle i tried to take a picture of them uh marine deep cycle batteries and got three of those things put them in here boom they are amazing uh, i've cut a lot of weight out of the golf cart itself um, it actually sits a little higher uh, i do need to replace my shocks but it sits a little bit higher um, and man it's got power it's got amazing power so i did race a guy the other day um, that when we raced originally because i wanted to see what kind of power it got so we raced originally we both took off about the same um, speed we raced this time we three two one boom hit and i just shot out in front of him uh, now top speed has not changed i'm still doing about 18 miles an hour so it's just the regular old golf cart uh speed but the speed right off the bat has definitely changed it's amazing what it does uh, even when i had these old batteries that were brand new it it didn't have the power it has now so uh, i definitely recommend it uh, once again the charging capabilities guys you don't have to change your charger you don't have to change anything out just change the batteries series them you may have to get longer cables uh depending on what how how long your cables were originally on the the batteries um but that's about all you got to do, man. It's, it's very easy, uh, saves you a lot of money, and to me, it works a heck of a lot better than those original batteries. So, just, <coughs> so, just something to think about, guys. Um, I know I researched it a lot. I, I found a whole bunch of different things on doing this. And uh, so I just kind of want to show you how I did it, and hopefully that will do something good for you guys. If you like fishing, let me just say, if you like fishing, especially crappie fishing, check out the rest of the channel and uh i appreciate y'all just for watching this and y'all have a good day hopefully this works if it works for you if you've done it before let me know in the comments i love to hear it y'all take care